And now there's this, a news grassroots movement are urging Democrats who are fed up with their party to hashtag walk away. It's called the walk away movement, and it's gaining serious momentum. Joining us now, Candace Owens of Turning Point USA. Candace, you and I talked about this a little bit on Friday. I cannot believe over the weekend, that's all I saw on Twitter, and people are really grateful. I know also Turning Point's working on a similar campaign, but explain to the audience what's going on here. Look, I think it's the most natural thing in the entire world. Unfortunately, the left and the Democrats, the party is unrecognizable to many people, especially millennials. They've become violent. They've become extreme. And I think beyond that, they have really radical ideas. Altogether, we're talking about socialism as a platform, which, as we both know, has killed over 100 million people in the last 100 years. How can people stay on the left anymore? But the, the notion also, though, that, that people are now brave enough to walk away, I mean, listen, you take a considerable amount of, of backlash if you're if part of any sort of special interest group that is expected to be Democrat, and people are shocked when you're not a Democrat. If you're a black person and you're not a Democrat, people are shocked. If you're Hispanic and you're not a Democrat, people are shocked, and it takes a certain amount of courage to, quote, hashtag walk away. Uh, you know, it definitely does. And I think what we can contribute this to is social media. Social media has provided that courage to people because you're looking around and you're seeing so many like-minded individuals pop up. Me, as a black person who says, look, I have conservative values. The many people that trailblazed before me, like Larry Elder, Condoleezza Rice, and Dr. Ben Carson, they, they didn't have social media in the way that we have it today, which allows us to springboard off of their ideas and make it okay to come out. The walk away hashtag was started by a gay hairdresser in uh, New York City. So we're seeing so many people pop up. And as I said, this is just the beginning. I really do believe we are seeing the end of the Democratic Party as we know it. I've got another one for you. On that same note, there's a uh, poll out showing that millennial supported Democrats for Congress slipping by nine percentage points in the past couple of years. I mean, listen, it seems like there's a massive shift to the GOP, but more particularly away from Democrats, and it's centered amongst millennials. What do you make of that? Well, just look at some of the facts here. Look at the priorities on the left. They are, they've been highly focused on illegal immigrants, the 2,000 illegal immigrants that were separated um, from their families. And yet we see that there are millions of kids that are in foster care and millions of kids that have been separated by their parents that have been in prison. So it's about seeing really where their priorities lie. They're starting to wake up and understand that their interests have not been for us in a long time, and yet they've been insisting on using our identities, whether we're black, our sexual orientation, Orientations, whether we're gay, lesbian, to sort of strap us down into the stale existence of the Democratic Party platform. And we're seeing a movement away from that, a movement towards ultimately individualism. Yeah, I mean, in this particular poll, white men 18 to 34, 2016, 48 percent for Democrats in Congress. That number all the way down to 37 percent. And, you know, identity politics and, 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 and selling of guilt it, it seems to be backfiring, that the notion that everyone should be guilty or angry or, or, or have some sort of animosity against someone who's not like them, whether it's income related or race related or sexual orientated rate related. I'm just surprised, shocked, to be quite frank with you, at how much devastation is, is happening to the Democrats on this. I'm not shocked whatsoever. I saw this. It's why I created my YouTube page initially. I saw this movement happening because look at what they're selling. Look at what the adjectives that you just used. Guilty, right? The, the idea of being oppressed, of guilty, of angry, of being a victim. And what we're offering is freedom, you know, happiness, individualism, a way to progress forward, which is going to win in the end, positivity or negativ negativity. That's what we are seeing happening right now in all communities. Right. It's an American movement towards freedom. Kenneth Owens, thanks a lot. Great seeing you. Thank you for having me.